DaVinci Resolve 15 is a massive update that adds an entirely new page for visual effects and motion graphics, even more professional audio features, and over a hundred improvements that editors and colorists have asked for. The first half of this video covers the new Fusion and Fairlight features. The second half covers editing and color. Let's start by building new Fusion effects. The new Fusion page gives VFX artists and animators over 250 tools for creating feature film quality effects and motion graphics. To add visual effects to a shot, just position the playhead over any clip in the timeline and click on the Fusion page. Just like the Edit and Color pages, the Fusion page has buttons across the top that show and hide different parts of the interface. Viewers, a toolbar with the most commonly used tools, and an inspector on the right. The bottom of the screen displays the node graph, which is where you connect nodes or tools together to build your effect. Nodes are simple effects that get plugged into each other to process images the way you want. It's really a lot of fun and is like playing with Lego blocks. Simply connect each block or node and construct some amazing effects. The media in node contains the shot from the edit page, and the media out node is what gets sent back. You can find all the tools in the effects library. Adding them is easy. Simply select the one you want, like this grid warper, and drag it into the node graph between the media in and out. Once the node is selected, you can adjust its parameters using the inspector or the on-screen controls. Switch back to the edit page to see the results in your timeline. Let's go back to the Fusion page and create a simple 2D composite on this clip. The Fusion page gives you access to the media pool so you can see all the clips in your project. In this case, we'll drag in some graphics, select its node and press the 1 key to display it in the viewer on the left. To combine the two images, we'll use a merge tool. This is one of the most common tools and is used to composite a background and a foreground image. Next, we'll add a blur between the graphics and the merge tool and adjust its strength in the inspector. We can take this another step further and use Fusion's paint tool to add some highlights. To do that, we'll add a solid background and a paint node. We'll use another merge to combine it all together. With the paint tool selected, we can paint a few strokes and then change the blend mode in the merge tool to get the desired effect. Looking at the node tree, you can easily see how the effects are added and the image flows. This is much easier than using stacks of nested layers and filters. We'll key out the green screen in this next shot. If you're working with multiple tracks in the timeline, you can select them, right click and create a new fusion clip. When you switch to the new fusion page, you'll see both clips are already in place with the merge tool. To key out the background, we'll add a delta key by going to the effects library and selecting it from the matte category. A quick click with the eyedropper gets us a pretty good key. You can go in and refine the matte controls as necessary. You can see how fast and easy it is to get great results. The clip viewer at the bottom lets you navigate between shots without having to go back to the edit page. In addition to traditional 2D effects, Fusion also lets you work entirely in 3D. For the opening title shot, we'll work in 3D to add some text and particles. To work in 3D, we have to take our 2D image and put it onto an object. You can put the video on a sphere, a cylinder, a torus, or any shape that you'd like. In this case, we're going to put it on a standard image plane. Next, we'll add some 3D text. You can see the text in true 3D space. Okay, so we'll set the font, size, and other parameters in the inspector. So it looks the way we want it to. The Merge 3D tool is used to merge the text over the background image in 3D space. It's easy to animate in Fusion. We'll animate the character tracking. All you have to do is add a keyframe, set the value, move to another frame, and change the value again. Text can also be animated with a follower, so each character can move independently. To do that, We'll right-click in the text box and add a follower. Under the Modifier menu, we can adjust and animate parameters like the position in Z-Space. There are several options, and you can have characters follow one another, or in this case, 
we'll have them change Z position from the inside out. You can even open the spline editor to see and adjust the animated keyframes. This is an extremely powerful window where you can completely customize the look of your animations. Next, we'll add some 3D particles. To do that, you simply add a particle emitter and a particle renderer, then connect it to the 3D merge. Now we've got the text, the background, and the particles all living in the same 3D scene. To see the particles, we need to give them some velocity, set the direction, add some color, and adjust a few other parameters to get them to behave the way we want. The particles can be born from a sphere, a box, or even a mesh. In this case, we'll use the text itself as a mesh. This means the particles will be emitted from the text. Next, we'll add a light to the scene and give it some color. Notice how interactive DaVinci Resolve 15 is. We can move the light around and see the animation updating in real time. To play this back on the edit page, we'll need to add another render node that takes a 3D scene and renders it back to 2D. You can save multiple versions of fusion effects attached to each shot. Simply right-click in the clip viewer and select the version you want to view, then switch back to the edit page and play it back. When it comes to audio, the Fairlight page has gotten an incredible upgrade loaded with powerful new features and improved performance. DaVinci Resolve 15 adds extensive new ADR tools for dialogue replacement. In the setup panel, you can quickly set recording options, add characters, and customize the audio and visual cues for the talent. These include a beep, count in, and a video streamer. The list panel lets you create cues from the timeline, or you can import a CSV file. Once you're ready to record, go to the record panel and select your cues. Then record as many takes as you need. You'll see the waveform draw as you do, so you'll be able to see the recording as it happens. You can even rate your favorite takes and mark cues as done. DaVinci Resolve 15 also lets you access sound libraries from both the Fairlight and Edit pages. You can search across multiple libraries, preview, mark, and audition clips right in the timeline. New controls in the timeline menu let you customize your view. For example, you can now see a miniaturized video timeline above the audio tracks. There are also new video and audio scrollers that display a scrolling film strip of your video and audio waveform at the bottom of the screen. These give you easy frame accurate control for syncing and moving clips. New semi-transparent waveforms make it easier to position and trim audio with precision. There's even a new scrolling timeline that keeps the play hit fixed while the timeline scrolls beneath it so you always know what's coming next. This is fantastic when working with a professional Fairlight hardware console. When it comes to balancing clip levels, DaVinci Resolve 15 features new peak normalization for every clip. There are over a dozen new Fairlight FX plugins that work on Mac, Windows, and Linux. These can be used to repair, shape, and enhance your tracks. You can eliminate power line hums in seconds with the Hum Remover plugin, which includes both 50 and 60 Hz presets as well as frequency controls. The powerful new noise reduction plugin can analyze and generate a noise profile in a single click, or you can use the auto speech mode to quickly extract dialogue from the background noise. Ada, what's the current date and time? The stereo width plugin to spread your tracks from mono to stereo or super wide or anywhere in between with a single dial. Fairlight's de-esser features a bell curve, notch, and low-pass filter controls to make it fast and easy to reduce sibilance. Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. For more targeted vocal sweetening, you can use the vocal channel plugin. The chorus, flanger, and modulation plugins are perfect for sound design. They can be used to thicken sound for adding realistic sound reflections to Foley tracks and for modulating audio clips in new and creative ways. The distortion plugin, when you need to add a touch of analog warmth, or distress a sound. There's also a full set of time-based effects including delay, echo, and reverb to seamlessly blend Foley and ADR tracks with the rest of your audio. Simply expand the box in the reverb plugin to change the size of the room. 
These powerful new Fairline audio features give professional sound editors everything they need to record, mix, and master complete soundtracks. With DaVinci Resolve 15, professional editors and colorists will find nearly a hundred new features. We've worked closely to take their feedback and add the tools and features they've asked for. For example, setting up projects is now easier than ever. If you have a common set of bins that you always use, you can create a template in the Finder. Simply drag them into Resolve and automatically turn the folders into your bins. Under Preferences, you'll see the new Snapshot feature, which, in addition to live saving, automatically saves a copy of your project at regular intervals. You can return to a version from earlier today, yesterday, a week ago, or more. You'll also see a new option for project loading. Timelines, clips, and color grades will be loaded as you need them, so large projects will open much faster. DaVinci Resolve 15 also gives you more control over keyboard customization than ever. You can now customize the keyboard on a page-by-page -page basis. So, for example, tapping the L key can be used for playback on the edit page. It can be switched on the color page, so it renames nodes using the label command. And it can also be used to enable audio track layers on the Fairlight page. Once you start working, you'll find DaVinci Resolve easier to use with the new smarter menus and dramatically shorter contextual menus. This lets you stay focused on the creative process instead of trying to remember where commands are. On the edit page, you can now see multiple timelines at once with the new stacked timeline feature. This makes it easy to quickly copy, paste, and drag and drop clips from one timeline to another. In addition, you can also turn on timeline tabs, which allow you to quickly click through multiple timelines in a project. DaVinci Resolve 15 also includes subtitle and closed captioning tools that make it incredibly easy to add, modify, and output projects with subtitles and closed captioning. Subtitles can be added manually as a title template or imported using the standard SRT files and added into the subtitle track. Just line up the first line and then the remaining lines are placed in the correct location based on timecode. Ada, where are my corner tools? They're stowed in docking bay two. Stay put. I'll get them. Subtitles act just like regular titles, so you can make timing adjustments at any time. They're stowed in docking bay two. Stay put. I'll get them. The inspector can be used to select any line, make changes to the text, or format the entire subtitle track. On the delivery page, you can choose to have captions embedded, rendered on the image, or output as separate file in standard SRT or HTML5, time text formats. On the color page, colorists can now view and use grades from other timelines that are saved in other projects. Grades can be applied between projects without having to import and export, or save them as power stills. There's also a new LUT browser. Here you can organize, search, and even get a live preview just by hovering over a thumbnail. Another new feature on the color page is the addition of the media pool, where you can quickly grab an imported mat and drag it onto the node graph. The new browser makes it easier than ever to work with grades, LUTs, and mats. The node editor has also been updated. You can now view nodes in icon or flat view, which makes it easier to organize and fit more nodes in the viewer when working on complex grades. Improved tooltips now include the name of effects that have been applied, making it easier to find the node you want to work on. You can now make changes across several clips at once using new shared nodes. Once you share a node, it can be added to multiple clips without having to create groups. You can unlock the shared node to make changes, and those changes are immediately rippled to any clip that uses it, giving you all the power of rippling nodes with greater flexibility. There are so many more additions in DaVinci Resolve 15 that make editing and color grading more refined and reduce the overall number of steps to get things done. For example, on the edit page, you can quickly delete multiple timeline gaps all at once. The new Bypass Grades button lets you temporarily bypass GPU-intensive color grades. This lets you use all of your computing power for creative editing or sound mixing. 
there are also new annotation tools that are attached to the markers. You can draw around a specific area, create arrows, and modify the color of each element. It's the perfect way to keep an entire team informed about changes that need to be made. Speaking of markers, it's now possible to convert duration markers to in and out points. You can also do the reverse. If you want to create a subclip, you can now mark it in the source monitor and drag it back into the bin. Subclips are also more flexible and will save you steps when working. If you run out of media when you edit a subclip into the timeline, DaVinci Resolve 15 will let you edit beyond the extents of a subclip whenever you need to. In the media pool, you'll notice that columns are now organized alphabetically, making them easier to find in the list. Also, the first column now displays the clip name, which you can change at any time. The file name can still be viewed in a separate column. You can also split the media pool for viewing two bins at once on the edit page. In addition, DaVinci Resolve 15 lets you set much larger sizes in icon view. Audio waveforms can now be displayed in thumbnail view, which makes it easier to quickly find and preview the clip you're looking for. The new source clip menu above the source viewer gives you quick access to load the most recently used clips. There's even a large new floating timecode window that you can resize and place on your screen anywhere you want. Amazing new superscale technology lets you up-res clips two, three, and four times so you can use HD resolution clips in 4K and 8K projects. You can now normalize audio clips right from the timeline on the edit page. This lets you expand the audio using headroom to increase the volume without clipping or distorting the sound. Resolve effects and other filters can now be keyframed from the inspector on the edit page, Four, six, five, giving you greater control over effects animations. In addition to resolve effects, you'll see a new fusion text generator in the effects library, along with new 2D and 3D animated text templates that you can drag and drop onto any track in the timeline. Simply change the text in the inspector, position it where you want, and you've got instant titles. On the color page, you'll find new direct graphical control over qualifier parameters, so you can now drag directly in the hue, saturation, and luminance strips. There are also enhanced matte refinement tools, including new denoise, shrink, and grow parameters. Colorists can now use multiple timeline playheads, so you can return to a specific frame within different clips as you check and compare grades. DaVinci Resolve 15 also expands HDR support with GPU accelerated Dolby Vision and HDR 10 Plus analysis, grading controls, and metadata export. In addition, new Resolve effects let you quickly patch blemishes or remove unwanted elements in a shot using smart fill technology. Simply set the source and destination patch Track it, and you're done. There are also new resolve effects for dust and scratch removal, lens and aperture diffraction effects, and more. And when you're ready to output, you'll find new options for services such as Netflix with IMF support. DaVinci Resolve 15 is a massive update with incredible new features that colorists and editors have asked for. Download your copy of DaVinci Resolve 15 and try it today.